episode of reproduction when a single parent is involved and no gamete formation takes place then this mode is called as a sexual mode of reproduction organisms can reproduce asexually in many forms some of them are fission budding fragmentation parthenogenesis regeneration let us learn each of them in detail a sexual mode of reproduction click each tab to know more fission the single celled organisms like paramecium euglena and bacteria reproduce by splitting into two or more offsprings this process takes place in a sequential manner they split into two by the process of binary fission when more cells are formed then it is called multiple fission budding in this an organism develops from an outer growth or due to cell division at one particular site to form nearly an identical copy of parent when the bud grows completely then it separates from the parent and survives independently fragmentation some organisms like flatworms lichens molds spirogyra etc grow from a separate piece of parent this can be from any part of the body these organisms can also reproduce sexually fragmentation is a common mode of reproduction in algae fungi and many land plants parthenogenesis in these days we are able to produce seedless fruits like watermelon grapes orange etc this process occurs only in organisms where there is a possibility of shifting from sexual to asexual mode of reproduction we have utilized this process of reproduction in growing organisms of our choice with more desirable characters During this process the female gamete develops into zygote without fertilization this kind of reproduction is observed in bees wasps and ants the zygote develops from a fertilized egg or by parthenogenesis the unfertilized egg also develops into a young one generally male The process of development of young ones from unfertilized ovum is called parthenogenesis. In this process, the sperms develop by mitotic division while the ova developed by meiotic division. Regeneration. Many differentiated organisms have the ability to give rise to new individual organisms from their body parts. Suppose if the individual is somehow cut or broken up into many pieces then these pieces grow into separate individuals 